What do we got? I have what I believe is an officer's commission from the Revolutionary War, dated 1778. Yeah, it was during the month of December, right? Let me see that. Hey, back off, dude. I'm coming down to the pawn shop today. I've got a commission for an officer getting promoted to lieutenant from the Revolutionary War. It's got no sentimental value to me, so hopefully I can get some money out of it. So where'd you get this? I bought it in an auction. How much you pay for it? 10 bucks. OK. It makes sense they did it in December because everybody kind of took a break during the winter back then. And during 1778, we weren't doing that well in the war. <laughs> we had a lot of people dying. In December of 1778, the Continental Army was spending the winter in the middle of New Jersey. Desertion was pretty common, so they promoted a lot of guys just to keep them happy and so they'd stay enlisted. OK, anything in the Revolutionary War has some degree of collectability. The state of New Hampshire to Thomas Hollerson? I think it's Patterson. Yeah, OK, Patterson. You can tell it's still 1700s because you notice the S's that look like F's. In leading, ordering, and exercising said company. Company in our, why do you keep on correcting me? My son is a pain in the ass sometimes. I might as well just let him run with it. Hopefully, he knows what he's doing. Do you know any of these signatures on them? I did a little research on the internet, but I, was, I wasn't able to find anything. All right. What are you looking to do with it? You want to pawn it or sell it? Sell it. Any idea of what you're looking to get? Hopefully a lot more than I paid for it. OK. Let me get somebody down here to check it out. I mean, I'm not too familiar with these signatures on there. Yeah, mm -hmm. Who knows? It could be somebody important. Hopefully. All right, man, let me give him a call. Cool. Appreciate right. it. Thanks. I'm thrilled to have an expert coming in because I really have uh, no knowledge of the document. I know that it's something of value, um, but we'll have to wait and see. Hey, what's going on, Dana? Hi, Corey. How you going? Good. This is what I called you about. I specialize in early American documents, autographs, coins, currency, and general Americana. Well, this is actually a commission for a militia company of the state of New Hampshire. The uh, writing has not faded. It's almost as bold as the day it was originally written. This is during 1778. The Revolutionary War was uh, in high gear at that time. And down here, this is signed by M. Ware. He was the first president in the United States. Really? Meshik Ware was the first president under a constitution in the United States, but it was a state constitution of New Hampshire, which came into being in 1776. First president in the United States, not of, in. In. <laughs> so he'd pretty much be what we would call a governor today. Yes. What's something like this go for? Well, you rarely ever see a military commission come out of the state of New Hampshire. They're actually quite scarce. This one's in quite nice condition. I would actually recommend that you take it out of the frame because it's becoming more aged from the acid in the paper that's backing it. The acid within the paper would leach into the document, causing it to become more brittle and to basically stain the original document. As far as the value is concerned, I would say that if we had this in one of our early American history auctions, it would probably bring somewhere in the vicinity of about $1,000. Beautiful, right on. Collectors would be thrilled to get this type of a militia document, such a valuable and rare piece of American history. How much are you looking to get out of it? I'd be willing to go halfway and meet you at 500. 500 sounds nice, 250 sounds a lot better. I mean, I got to have this taken out, redone, put into a new frame. So I mean, 250 would be right about where I'm at. I really don't want to sell for 250. It's rare. Can you go four? I'll go 350. All right, 350. All right, let's write this up. Pops, you want to write them up? No, son. <laughs> I settled on 350, which I'm thrilled with. I paid $10 for it, sold it for 350, so it's a good day.